be replacing the fill valve in one of my toilets with this uh, Foodmaster Universal fill valve. This is the package that it came in. Comes of course with the fill valve, Re refill tube, a clip where the tube connects to lock nut and this uh, rubber shank here installs there. Here are the instructions that I followed. Uh, you can pause and read through these. Okay, so here's the, uh, the bow or tank, I should say. Toilet tank. And this is the old fill valve. You can see the orientation of where you marked the water level. Have a container down here. I'm going to flush the toilet. Right after I turn the water off here. And then I'll drain the water as much as I can. I'm using this uh, battery operated uh, transfer pump. This of course is optional. You can just use a cloth or a sponge. At the same time you should uh, go ahead and clean the tank from any debris. You can see the water flow. There's some of the water that I uh, got. I'm disconnecting the uh, supply line a little bit tight so I loosen it with the uh, channel locks and then you can do it by hand. And then there's of course a nut lock that uh, maintains the uh, fill valve to the toilet bowl. So again, it's on pretty tight, so again, loosen it up with the channel locks here, and then by hand. And of course, you you, you check the uh, orientation of the uh, old fill valve, so you can put the new one in the same way, especially if everything is going okay. And if it is, you can go ahead and... Uh, Get the new one to the same length. You can hold it to the in the middle of the, of the uh, body, and then just turn it either co uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Right there's their uh, where it locks there. Hold it right there, and just turn it clockwise or counterclockwise to loosen, increase or loosen the height. And of course, I've already been cleaning the uh, the bow here. And pretty much you just repeat the steps to install the new one. So then I'm comparing the length. Now I kept the, 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 the new one a little bit shorter. You don't want it too high on the, uh, on the tank. Because uh, you don't want the cover to, uh, to touch it. You don't mess up the uh, flushing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put on the nut to the new one here. The new uh, fill valve. And it's just going to be hand tight for right now because I want to go ahead and uh, go back to the to the tank and uh, check the orientation, install the uh, refill tube to the metal clip and so forth. So there it is. And I want this little nipple right here lined up with the uh, overflow tube right here. And the hose uh, refill tube will go on there. And I went ahead and cut it. It was a little bit too long. You don't want it to touch the top of the tank, of the bow, of the cover rather, when you uh, when you put it on. So there, it's hand tight. I've already done the orientation. And align the uh, new valve in accordance. 
So here I'm just installing the, uh, the nut uh, to the fill valve. Okay. So here's the uh, fill tube that I went ahead and installed. And I did cut it as I said earlier. And I'm just reconnecting the uh, water supply line. And then I'll be turning in the turning on the water as soon as I get this done. And again, you check for leaks uh, continuously, and if there are any, just tighten it a little bit more, but don't over tighten. So there's the uh, the clip with the uh, fill tube refill tube on it. And now I'm going to turn the water on. Check for water. Uh, check check the water level. Uh, the water level. Make sure that uh, it's where you want it. Doesn't have to be exact. And you want to follow the instructions that uh, were given. You don't want water to uh, flow through this uh, lever here. This hole here where the uh, lever connects it has to be below that. And of course, you don't want it to overflow into the uh, overflow tube, so it has to be below that, at least uh, at least half an inch or so, right in there. So there, it's kind of reached the water level, and it's below over here, and it's below the uh, hole over here in the lever. So we're pretty pretty much good to go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.